Okay everyone, in this video we are gonna go ahead and talk about demons. So the rarity of demon class is legendary, it's one of the legendary more specifically. So let's go ahead and talk about this class. So the class has its own passive buff or like a uh, help thingy. So what does the buff for this is? The buff is this portal button right over here. So when you click this and choose a, a place where you want to put your teleport, you can take wherever you want, pretty much. So uh, I want to teleport to the beach. So it's A7654, we we'll create this portal thingy. Up into the portal. Okay, that's weird. So we're gonna go towards the. Uh, okay, we're gonna go towards the beach if I want to. We're just going through that portal, then we can go back again, and we can like literally. It's pretty nice if you don't want to walk all the way to the place or fly all the way to the place. You can just use that. So for example, I want to go to Pogos, you know, because um, I really don't like to walk all the way here. So I'm gonna go click Pogos. And then it will create a uh, teleport thing, and boom, as you can see there, I'm in Pogo. And another example is that when you're in the quest giver and you don't actually have fly, and you don't want to use flight or whatever, and you click yes, uh, you can go ahead and click the book portal, go to Pogo's, and then boom, as you can see there, you're at Pogo's without jumping all over that place. So as you can see, pretty easy. Um, I would really use this pretty nice, uh, pretty nice, what's it called this? It's a pretty nice uh, passive ability, I like it a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but then there's this uh, flight thingy here which you can use, but that is a good passive, that's all I have to say about that. Now that I'm done talking about the, um, the teleport and the passive ability of this um, demon. Let's go to the next one, which is going to be the flight. For the flight, you, you when you're level one, you have already um, unlocked this. So you can use this. So pretty much easy to say. You just fly. And by the way, it does not reduce your stamina, so that's pretty good. So if you look here, uh, pretty nice. I like this. I like the flight. It's just any different flights. But there's another portal. There's portal here, which is pretty useful for far away distance. So yeah. Now that I told about that, let's go to the next one, which is going to be the life drain. For the life drain, of course, you need to be level 15 to be able to use it. And this is what it's going to look like when you use the life drain. So go ahead and click um, E. Uh, e. Okay, We're going to go to the uh, monsters here. And use E, because apparently they're not enemies. Oh no, I died. Flight is better, okay? It's making me... There. Uh, let's click E. There, E. <gasps> Whoa! What? Whoa, what? Okay, I'm gonna use this on... Here, ba Baldi. Let's see, Baldi. Baldi, come here. What? Okay. I'm gonna... I have a... It's gonna be a lot of... Um, damage towards me. Come here, Baldi. Click. E, e, e. <gasps> Look here, I'm healing. I healed, healed a little bit. Not a lot, but still a little. Uh, let's try it on... Okay, we, we can try it on this guy. So let's see if I actually heal myself. E. We have wait two seconds. No! Oh, there. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty, pretty nice. Life steal. Who doesn't want to steal life? That sounds so weird. Okay, now let's go to the next one. And by the way, this is a damage slash utility slash control, uh, crowd control skills. So it also pulls your enemy and drain their life out of them. So yeah, it's life steal. That's literally it. Now let's go to the next one, which is going to be, um, sorry about that. It's going to be the Scythe Swirl. Scythe Whirl. You need to be level 30 to be able to use this one. So let's go ahead and test it out. Click um, R. This is what it looks like, and as you see, it's like having this sight whirling. So whoever is in this radius, whoever is near me, pretty much will die. So I think this one follows wherever your mouse goes. Nope, it doesn't follow wherever my mouse goes. It follows wherever I am. So 
this is pretty useful because if you're in a close combat with somebody and then you kick R, they will deal damage to you will deal damage towards them because you are near them and whoever was near on that uh, side scythe world will get damage anyways. So that is damage skill. Now let's go ahead and go to the next one, which is going to be the scythe barrage. You'll need to be level 60 to be able to use that to go ahead and click C. So this is what it does, so pretty much it's just gonna be a lot of those scythe. So it says it says here that throws a barrage of damn scythe and then deal AoE upon damage. So when you click uh, C, if you look here, you will Oh what? Wait, 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 let me see, let me see, let me see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna test it out. I need to test it out. Click C. You're throwing... Oh, you're throwing sight. You're throwing sight. What? Okay, that was pretty nice. So, by the way, the sight thingy here will also... Um, if, even if you don't try to shoot your opponent, uh, if you don't get, uh, if you don't like specifically hit them, uh, and you hit the side, you will still be able to deal damage towards them. Anyways, so yes, that is the side barrage. It's a damage skill, so pretty much you can damage anybody. Now let's go to the next one, which is going to be the Hellfire. For the Hellfire, you, know, you need to be level 100 to be able to use it and unlock it. So you need to click F. Now as you can see. This one is pretty much more a high radius and not really on one position type of thing because it's not going to work nicely. What the heck? What the heck just happened there? So pretty much that is the Hellfire. It's not a fire summon. It's a uh, rain of fire and deals a lot but does not really go to the specific way I want it to be. Because if you see here. I throw everything, look it goes over everywhere, but it doesn't go to where I want it to be, which is only Tire Road, but it does damage anyone in its way. But yes, that is the Hell Fire or Hell ra Fire Rain to damage skills and it will damage anyone around you, but that would be that. Now let's go to the next one, which is going to be the last skill, which is called the Awakening. So this one is kind of a buff that gives you something. So the buff that you'll be able to get is damage boost. You'll get 25% more damage boost and of course 15% uh, more damage reduction. So anybody who comes and damage you will pretty much be, their damage will be reduced to 15%. Now for the damage boost, if we turn on our awakening, it will have this purplish thingy that indicates that we are using the um, awakening. So go ahead and punch and ask you see 400, 400,000 and when you turn it off, it has damage of just 300,000. But yes, that is that for Demon. I am done talking about Demon. That will be pretty much it. If you want to know more about the Demon class, I would recommend you to watch a different YouTuber who knows more than I do. So, that is a Demon.